Hello, I'm Safira Lou and welcome to my channel. Hello guys and welcome to this week's video in which I have been sent these amazing Chocola markers from the Chocola company to review for you guys. Now this video is not sponsored in any way shape or form, they just sent me these markers to try out so I could get my genuine thoughts on it. Um, they sent me a pack of 21 which is 15 chalk pens and 6 metallic markers and I thought what would be a fun way to do this would be to do a, a foreground piece on a piece of glass and then a background piece on a some blackboard or chalkboard so that we can get a variation in view. And now you can see the pens that they've been given are sort of like a medium broad tip and the metallic pens have a slightly smaller tip. Um, they do take a while to activate, um, so when I was doing them I had to put I put them on like on the glass and you have to like press up and down and then shake it and press up and down and shake it and it does take a few minutes for them to activate and it tends to be the broader the nib the longer it does take to activate but the colours are so bright and so vibrant so I decided after several trial and errors um, to do a parrot piece for this and no don't worry you haven't missed out that's just my sketch that's underneath the glass so I could work out um, how everything was going to go because I couldn't exactly sketch onto the glass without already um, you know starting the piece so I have some good things about these and I have some not so good things and I'm going to be completely honest in any reviews that I will give um, of any art supplies I like to try and be honest with them because I want you guys to have my honest opinion now people's opinions may vary on markers and that's the wonderful thing about art supplies there's literally hundreds upon hundreds of brands that you can try out and see which one works for you now the pros in this are the colors are very beautiful and very vibrant and as you can see they just they look so wonderful on the glass and they they do when you see the chalk uh, on the chalkboard lights it just looks really bright and vibrant i found that the colors were easy to use after they've been activated um but one of my main issues was that the colors did run a lot on the glass and which is why i had my test piece of glass to try it out also if you built too much on top of them because they are a water-based marker um, and it hasn't really got anywhere to grip to on glass it would just run as you can see here it was just like, almost like activating itself and like leaking into each other so the way you had to try and get around that was you had to wait for layers to dry however when your layers dried if they were bright they were vibrant hardly any streaks at all um, but when you go on top with the marker because that chalk's already dried and you try and build the layer up on top you do come across scraping issues and it does um, take away the piece on top uh, which is an issue that I found when I was building up more layers later on um, so you have to kind of find like a happy medium with it as long as you don't mind like say colours so kind of bleeding into each other while they're still wet um, it is, they are fantastic to use and I'm not gonna I'd be like be like oh yeah these are brilliant because I've been sent them like I did have good parts and I did have bad parts with this um, and my major issue was bleeding with them I just I think I got the hang of it after using them for a bit longer but I was still running into bleeding issues like even after they dried um, but the good thing is I, they do dry fairly quickly so you do um, build up like you can build up layers very quickly so what I found was that if I put my darker layers down I could just build up just that little bit um, and put the lighter layers on top um, because I was sent a pack of 21 um, I was really struggling on what I could do originally my idea was I was gonna do a snake girl and like try and use as many colors as I possibly could but kind of doing like this um, call I'm gonna call him my rave parrot because he's so colorful and so bright um, it was fun to try out different textures um, with the uh, Chocola just to build up your layers through that. Now they are water based and they are child friendly um, so if you did want to do a fun project um, with young, young people or if you are a younger person yourself and you wish to try these out they are an awful lot of fun to do and they will be fun for like craft projects if you want to create like a, a drawing in the background and then build up the layers on top with glass. The only thing I will say is that if you are looking at doing this, um, because 
um, when the, they dry, they can scratch away. So unless you find a, because I haven't managed to find a sealing, uh, sealant for this yet, because I'm worried that the colours will run because they are water-based. Um, if anyone's got any recommendations, please let me know. Because if you turn over the glass, you're going to lose a lot of the detail that you've built on top of it. So you kind of have to work backwards if you're thinking about turning the glass back over. Um, so to protect it a little bit more uh, from scratching. If you are thinking about doing that, um, you have to work backwards and work lighter to darker. Um, and that's just something I've learned from painting windows in the past, like painting like murals and stuff. Um, you have to build up your colors backwards. Um, but because we're seeing the front of the glass instead of the back of the glass, it was easier for me to build up layers through there. Um, you notice I switched over from a white background to a dark background and that's just so I could see the colours a little bit better um, don't worry you haven't missed much it's just literally me making sure that I've um, if there were any streaks that I could build up the layers easily through there so what I will say is because these are water based they do easily wash from clothes as well which makes them very good for child friendly um, projects as well as if you get any you have to worry about ruining your clothes as well um, these are, um, they are a lot of fun to use and I did have fun with them, um, but you can't really use them on paper. Um, so if you are like me and your main medium is paper or mixed media paper, um, because they work best on, they say here best use on all non-porous surfaces. Um, so you like your cars and home windows, wine glasses, chalkboards, whiteboards, uh, plastic. Um, so with this, because it doesn't really have grip to it, you won't be able to build up the layers through that uh, um, like like I would on paper. You'd have to think about it differently. So if you are looking in grabbing some of these at any point in time, uh, feel free to. That's absolutely fine. Check them out. They are on most Amazon and they are on Amazon if you do want to try them out for yourself. And try out like some fun craft projects with these. Um, because like I said, I had a lot of fun doing this. Um, and I've seen that other YouTubers have tried them out as well. And it's really interesting to see how everyone approaches the same sort of like challenge or the same sort of medium and everyone uses it so differently. So my pros are they are bright, bright and vibrant, able to use on um, a lot of interesting services that I wouldn't normally work on. Um, I found after a bit of me tra trial and erroring that they were a lot of fun to build up the colours and the colours still stayed bright and true to themselves. Um, my, main cons uh, my main problems were the colours ran when they were wet. Um, which was a big issue with me um, because like, I like to build up my layers and stuff. And there's my chalk background, by the way. I, I missed out filming that. Um, but it works fantastic on chalk. It look, works beautifully on chalk. Um, I also found a big con was when it had dried because the, the part of the layers which were quite thick and quite built up, that it kind of flaked away because I left it to dry overnight. They'd flaked and I was... Uh, it's probably because I put too much down, but that was an issue I had as well. Um, but overall, these are, uh, they are very bright and they are very beautiful colors to use. Uh, lots of very vibrant colors for if you want very vibrant projects. And if I was, to, I would definitely use these again and I'd probably use them to like build up il illustrations that I've put in a frame and then build up um, the glass around it. Um, as I said, if anyone's got any recommendations or any sealants, let me know. If you guys like this review, please let me know. If you guys want to see more pen reviews, I would be interested in hearing that because I would like to try out different things and give my honest opinion on them. Um, if you guys wish to see more content from me, maybe subscribe to my little channel. I hope you guys have liked my Chocola review. If there's any questions that people have that you haven't answered in the commentary, please comment down below so that I can um, answer any questions that you guys have. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I really do appreciate all of your support. You guys are absolutely amazing and I cannot thank you enough. Thanks for watching and as always, stay creative.